My name is Elizabeth James Perry, and I'm a member of the Aquina Wampanoag Tribe on Martha's Vineyard, right off the coast of Massachusetts. I'm going to talk a little bit about the eel trap in the collection of Peabody Harvard Museum. I'm actually pretty familiar with this example because I studied it about 20 years ago. I was curious about how it was constructed, and then I went out into local woods here in Dartmouth, Mass, gathered some cedar, um, got some wood together, processed some basswood fiber as well, and I made a reproduction of the trap out at the Seattle Folklife Festival as part of the maritime contingency from the Northeast. I ended up uh, striking up a friendship with James Cayona, who is a tribal person out in the Northwest, and he's a salmon fisherman. And he, uh, he made his salmon the old way. People don't really do it so commonly now, but he would carefully dry, really dry, thin strips of the salmon. And so we decided to trade. He really liked the wampum, and I, of course, love salmon. And so we ended up shipping each other our, our goods across the, uh, the country. And um, it, was a, it was a nice treat that year to have some, some seafood from the other coast. A lot of our diet has remained pretty consistent. We're still by the same waters our ancestors lived on. We still harvest a lot of fish, um, you know, seasonal fish like herring, eels, shad. We used to fish for sturgeon. They're no longer common, obviously. We still, you know, harvest crustaceans like lobsters and crabs. We still harvest a lot of shellfish, whether it's quahog or conch or mussels. They're all really delicious. Razor clams are really good. Scallops, bay scallops are delicious as well. We still use seaweed in our diet. So you can use seaweed right in a soup. You can snack on it dry. And we use the seaweed, of course, for our traditional clam bakes right on the beach. It's a really nutritious way to basically steam your seafood. And um, you can add other things in there like bread and uh, you know corn, things of that nature, and have a really nice little family or community feast depending on what the event is. Um, back in the day, a lot of people, you know, back in the day a few hundred years ago, um, people were still harvesting either beach whale or they were going out and hunting whales and dolphins, you know, mainly fairly near shore. And they were also harvesting um, seals. So there's red meat uh, that's been long absent from our diet from those particular beings. There's also sort of a, a fat con component so that whale fat would have been rendered down into oil that would have been really good for cooking. Some of that whale meat would have been smoked and dried so it wouldn't necessarily all be just steaks but you might just have a little piece that you throw into an all otherwise all vegetable dish like succotash or corn beans and, and squash. It must have added a really delicious component to our food and I think there's there's a lot of nutritional change that's happened um, to our to our modern diet. There's also a change in water quality where there's a lot of pollution in local waters. There's um, a lot of environmental stresses on the fish and shellfish as well. So things have changed a bit, but we're still lucky to be here.